हेलो हाय दिस इज नंदिता फॉर द सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ व्हाट टू रीड आई एम गोना वेट अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स इन केस मोर पीपल जॉइन आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ एनीवन इज हियर येट ओके हाय शालिनी nice to see one person here uh, it says that there are three viewers so if ishita hello ishita if there's anyone else here uh, shalini if you can hear me ishita if you can hear me can you give me a thumbs up in the comments hi tarahat i just want a few thumbs up so i can be sure that uh, everyone can hear and see me Okay, Ishita can hear me. Do anyone else hear? We can start as soon as we have a confirmation that technically everything is okay. There are eight viewers, so if the rest of you could just give a quick thumbs up, that would be great. Yay! Thirteen viewers. We have double digits. I know afternoons are maybe not the most popular time uh, to have live sessions, but we're hoping that people will be free around this time. Uh, just one. Okay. I will wait another two minutes. Uh, thanks to those of you who are here. I don't know if um, all of you were there last month when we had the first episode, uh, but this is what to read, and uh, what to read is uh, this new FB live um, idea that uh, we had at the TLC library, and it's basically a monthly show where we give you recommendations of. Um, Uh, books that children could read, and we also talk about uh, in in a little bit of length about what some of these books are doing and why I thought they were special, and maybe uh, you will too. And um, using chats, we try to have a bit of a to and fro. Uh, hi, Reshma and Monica, and yeah, and everybody else who's joined. uh so that's what what to read is we just talk about books for 30 minutes and um uh, hopefully i give you a few more ideas of what you could add to your uh, children's bookshelves uh and using your feedback um i will go look for more books for next month so please keep it active uh yeah so i i guess we can i guess we can slowly begin I'm just going to close my yeah right so um so just to remind you this is what to read and this is episode 2 of a book recommendation show uh, by TLC library episode 1 was uh, in i think the 30th of april and now we have the uh, second episode uh and this is a 30 minute show and it also has a free book giveaway i'll give you a little more clues and eventually show you what the book free book is going to be so um all you need to do to become eligible to win the free book giveaway is to participate in the comments and also uh com- and also tag at least um one friend who you think will enjoy the show as well uh that's all you need to do to um to be eligible for the giveaway uh and my name is nandita jairaj for those of you who were in here last month i am an author and a journalist i also work as a, a coordinator at tlc library in mangalore uh my 
uh, in, I mean, I have a lot of uh, a big interest in trying to see what kids enjoy, uh, what kind of content kids enjoy, and um, uh, it, I'm trying to share a bit of my learnings with you uh, in what to read. So, hello to uh, Nirupama who's here, and uh, we have yeah. So we have 16 viewers, and that's good enough to begin. Uh, so this, uh, this, this, this uh, again, like like uh, in the first episode, I'd like you all to just comment with the ages of your children or the age group that you are interested in, so that I can take this information to the future sessions and uh, decide which books to feature in the uh, rest of the uh, episodes that we have. Uh, so just just comment with the with the age that you're interested in. Uh, hi Raghav and hi Deepti. Uh, yes, I won't be I won't be entirely storytelling today though. Like I will read out an excerpt, so hopefully that's a little fun. If there are, it looks like there are uh, at least a couple of kids here, uh, so hopefully they will like that and also get to hear about some books that they have never heard about before. So I have three books um, this time to discuss. Uh, and before I get into that, I just want to thank Moms of Manglo Group for uh, partnering with us so that we can uh, we have a wider audience to um, you know share all of this stuff with. Uh, and yeah, <clears throat> so we have ages coming in, which is great. Okay, so the uh, first of the three books that I'm going to um, talk about today is called Gutli Has Wings. That's the book. And uh, so Gutli Has Wings is written by Kanak Shashi. Uh, she's the author. And it's published by Tulika Books. Uh, and this book, uh, basically, it starts, off, uh, it starts off showing us the world through the eyes of the protagonist, who is Gutli here. Uh, Gutli is... Her personality is about as colorful as the pages of this book. And she's the baby of the family and she's the favorite of uh, everybody who lives in her home. And, uh, and you know, in the first few pages or so, we learn about all the different things that, um, different things that she likes. She likes uh, collecting leaves or drawing fairies and uh, swinging in a swing, climbing trees. Basically, you know, she's just another kid who finds a lot of joy in these things. And uh, we also learned that her favorite toy is her cycle, which she takes everywhere. And she's also become an expert in maintaining and fixing and repa repairing her uh, favorite cycle. So we see all these um, aspects of Gutli's personality. But then um, come Diwali, there's a bit of conflict. And we get a glimpse of how uh, Gutli is seen by the rest of the world. So the perspective changes a bit and we uh, see we and Gutli herself realizes that uh, the way the world sees her is not the way she is seeing herself. For one, she realizes that her parents are expecting her to wear boys clothes and Gutli just wants to wear her sister's pretty frock and look like a fairy. Uh, and we also see how how the members of Gutli's family who see her as a boy navigate this sensitive issue like what do you do when you know when your young child who you see as a boy sees themselves as a girl or you know wants them wants to do things that you do not expect uh, your child to do so we see at first how Gutli's sister laughs at her how her mother tries to patiently explain to Gutli about you know what her what she should be like but unintentionally ends up hurting Gutli very deeply um, when 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 she tries to insist that no Gutli you are a boy boys can't be fairies they must be princes and how eventually uh, the mother loses her temper with Gutli and says don't be stubborn boys are boys and girls are girls and you are a boy and this really breaks Gutli's heart and spirit and she ha ends up having a miserable Diwali and she becomes isolated from everybody else uh, probably because she sees everyone else how happy they are being freely allowed to be themselves unlike Gutli who for some reason is not allowed to act in the way she wants and we see you know how Gutli 
withdraws into herself she no longer is a chatterbox that she used to be and the house you know it's not just gutli that's sad the whole house sort of uh, becomes gloomy because the light of their life was uh, no longer shining and uh, then i mean it, 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 but then the story takes a positive turn turn when we see gutli's mother who loves her child so dearly despite all of this and um how she tackles this uh, issue before it it became worse uh, so it really has a really heartening and very pleasant and happy ending and it's a very feel good book that in my opinion is another great example of how uh, how even something so simple as you know picture books with just with just a few words and pictures in every page how how books can treat young children with respect and credit them with the intelligent and sensitive human beings that they are rather than you know talking down to them and trying to dumb things down just to sort of emphasize that adults know more or you know you're too small you won't understand but books like this really don't do that and it it's a fun read it's not only it it will make them think and is likely i feel to trigger some questions but this could be you know converted into a um, nice learning a uh, nice learning opportunity for both uh, the parent and the child and you know why not um, let our children join us while we understand gender for ourselves while we try to deconstruct all these uh, assumptions that we have about gender what it means you know how it's different how sex is different from gender and whether or not you're uh, designated as male or female at birth uh, gender is something that is socially constructed and stubbornly sticking to the expectations and roles that society is given just like what gutri's mother says that boy, boys are princes and uh, girls can be fairies so all these sticking to this can be tremendously harmful for children and usually we do this out of wanting to protect kids because we see that if we allow them to be the way they want to be then that could make them make life really difficult for them but uh, also you know the more you read and the more you see the world around you you have to ask yourself by stifling somebody's um, you know ability to just be themselves are you really doing them good in the ro- long run so gutli's uh, story really prompts us to think about these deep things even though the story itself is super simple and um, very um, very easy uh very easy to get uh so let me see if we have any comments okay it's it's age group and uh, raghav yes i will soon be suggesting uh, a great three book just for you uh right so just to remind you gutli has wings is by kanak shashi it's published by tulika books it's um i mean you can order it online we also will be adding this to our uh, library so if you're in manglo you're welcome to drop in post lockdown and uh, borrow it from us so that is uh, book 1 uh, just to remind all of you that we have a free book giveaway happening it's a super fun book uh, i will i will reveal what the book is before the end but uh, all you have to do is participate in the comments and uh, and tag at least one friend who you think will uh, find value in in what to read in, in the future just so that we can get the word around and uh, um help people who need it uh, so free book giveaway don't forget about it and now i think we can go on to our book 2 which raghav will be happy to hear that might be something that he can read uh and it could be also for slightly older audiences uh older children i mean so the second book that we have is called is this one yeah it's called sisters at new dawn and it's by varsha sheshan it's published by young zuban so like i said this book is for uh, it's a chapter book it has about um, 150 odd pages uh it's for slightly older 
kids usually a middle uh, middle school audience though uh, if you have a third grader or fourth grader um uh, or fifth grader who is an advanced reader they could very well read it uh and what it's i mean it's it's a book that is based in a school it's about two sisters who've just joined a new and rather unique school and um Yeah, so personally, I've always loved books based in uh, schools, especially boarding schools. I think many of us must be familiar with uh, Enid Blyton's books, many of the series which were based in uh, boarding schools and featured kids there and all kinds of midnight feasts and um, tricks on teachers and whatnot. So, um, so I mean, I really love uh, school books based in schools, and I had not read uh, too many. books like these coming from india uh, at least in english but there might be stuff that i'm missing out on so uh, if you uh, know of books based in schools from india then please do comment and uh, i would love to look into those uh, so this this book is um, uh, is like i said based in a school and it's actually the school is called new dawn and it's quite different i'll get into that a bit um in a couple of minutes uh, but i just thought that it would you know it's um it's so interesting how the idea of boarding schools and when we read these boarding schools they all sound so exciting and so fun uh, so there's this happening and then simultaneously boarding schools also something that you know parents threaten kids with that you know if you're naughty i you will send you to boarding school or i don't know if that still happens but i do remember that it happened with me and so it's it's interesting how this there is this these two versions of uh, boarding schools that are there in um, most of our minds and i have personally never been to a boarding school but i don't know maybe some of you have so it uh, i would be so fascinated to hear what you thought while reading you know like what is what is boarding school actually like is it really like malditas or uh, like hogwarts or you know is it somewhere in between or are there any books or movies which actually do realistically depict what uh, boarding schools are like uh, so yeah keep the comments buzzing and it'll be really nice to uh, share these stories uh, raghav says that uh he loves the adventure series by enid blyton okay i'm not sure i've read the adventure series raghav what is it about please let us know is it based in a school what i do remember by enid blyton is mallory towers and also naughtiest girl i think both of those were based in boarding schools um punima asks that my niece is very interested in series she's 8 years any recommendations Yeah. Uh, so, Punya, if your niece is old enough to read uh, chapter books, then she could um, look at the ones, the you know, sisters at New Dawn. But I, I would say that maybe she is a bit too young for that. This would be more um, suited to ten plus age group, uh, I feel. Uh, but let me look into i will definitely look into some series for um, eight year olds and uh, let me see more i think most eight year olds are still in the picture book reading phase or maybe slightly lesser but there might be some series that we could introduce her to uh, so back to new dawn i want to tell you a little more uh, about it so it's about two sisters like i say their names are kannagi and padma and uh, they're often mistaken for twins but they're actually not uh, though they look similar they're super different from each other kanagi is a lot more um, opinionated and sarcastic whereas padma is a uh, more you know what we call a good girl uh, though they they're really close to each other and they're best friends and uh, everything so it's so these two girls have just joined this new school called new dawn and um and new dawn is really uh, is really different from any school that i have seen and that's why i i feel that even for those of us who are interested in children's education and you know exploring the idea of holistic education and uh, alternative school schooling those who feel that mainstream education leaves something to be desired then i feel that uh, just 
experiencing what new dawn is about through this book is going to be really uh, really fascinating things are done very differently at uh, new dawn the way subjects are organized the learning methodologies the teachers uh, everything is kind of quite quirky and like a little bit unbelievable in fact kanagi herself who is one of the sisters uh, she comes from uh, i suppose a more conventional school and she's you know she's good at math and and uh, like she she's pretty straightforward as a person so the first time she goes to new dawn and experiences their way of teaching and their subjects it all seemed kind of strange and she was i mean even maybe ridiculous she was quite skeptical about what how are we learning if we're going to learn subjects named um, pot of gold and then there's another subject called maths and beauty uh, so kanagi was very put off at first but then she started seeing that maybe there's something uh, to it but of course uh, even though i i found the parts about you know the parts about their uh learning methodology and the scenes in the classroom and especially uh, there are i mean uh, varsha sheshan the author does go into a little bit of detail about how they um, got ideas to to do their projects and what the different projects were the different groups were doing it was really interesting to me to see you know kids doing these really imaginative uh, projects so so but apart from that this book of course is actually about the sisters and what happens uh to them and uh, there's you know there are a few bullies in the scene and um, and there's also a bit of a personal back story the two sisters have uh in somewhere in between the book they find out something potentially earth shattering so there's a bit of mystery in there as well i don't want to uh, say too much you should pick the book to um find out so um yeah so i really liked uh, sisters in new dawn because it was the first um, school based uh, middle school book that uh, i was i had read from india and it had you know it was definitely had a lot more in common to our childhood than um, than books like books by anne blyton and uh, harry potter um let me just quickly look through some of the con- uh, comments uh, monica Uh, says that my son is recently very fond of Sudha Murthy's grandma's bag of stories, even though he is quite small. Do you know any other books I can give him? Okay, sure. That sounds great. So it sounds like uh, maybe Monica, you are reading, uh, reading the book out to uh, your son since you say he's quite small. So there are like many. I can definitely uh, suggest a. Uh, few books maybe ne- maybe next episode i will specifically look at this if you you know if if you're still reading out books for your kids there are you don't necessarily have to stick to the very young age group because they can listen and uh, understand what you're saying and uh, i will I, i it's i mean i'm also going to look i i know we have sudha murthy's book in the library but i haven't read it yet myself but it's great that uh, kids like it i will definitely um put it on my reading list soon and also will suggest you some books please do try out um gutli has wings for now since we were talking about it today uh and maybe the next book as well might be something that your son finds interesting uh purnima says that uh 8 year old okay her niece does not like picture books anymore okay so that's a great chance to get into chapter books there are uh some chapter books which are <clears throat> just advanced enough to sort of go in between that stage you know where kids are transitioning from picture books to trans- chapter books but most chapter books seem too high level there are you know maybe she could even try some books like uh, diary of a wimpy kid which has a lot of drawings and it has text and there is continuity so those books are really popular with uh, kids in that age group so that's something she could uh, check out um uh, okay so raghav is asking any books like harry potter raghav i think if you're reading harry potter then <clears throat> you can try out um sisters at new dawn and i would love to hear what you think about this school there's no magic really but there are some very interesting subjects that they learn which is 
kind of a little magical actually so uh, any other books like harry potter um, i will i will look I, if you mean fantasy books i'm going to uh, think about that and bring up something for you next time uh monica says no he reads by himself he's six years okay that's that's amazing looks like we have some very advanced readers like monica sun and raghav uh so i'm also going to keep that in mind because um uh, frequently six year olds <clears throat> are, are still in the beginner reader uh levels but there are a few kids who are um uh, ahead of that um Shilpa Shreyas asks, any book for three-year-olds? He can almost read by himself. Uh, more pictures would be better. So from the books what I um, uh, picked out today, Gutli, uh, Gutli Has Wings is a picture book. And uh, Shilpa, what I usually do in these sessions is I try and recommend one book in each reading level. Um, most of the time, two of the books turn out to be picture books, which you could look out for your... Um, uh child and uh, um and the, and then there, there are usually chapter books for slightly older kids and what i will also do is um i will add right after the session i will add uh, uh a link where to which you can subscribe to a newsletter where i also recommend books every week so if you're interested in more <clears throat> book recommendations you're welcome to subscribe to the newsletter and um, every week you'll get more book recommendations in your inbox so um so that is the uh, i think we've finished uh, talking about the second book and uh, just to quickly remind everybody that we have a free book giveaway uh, that is happening all you have to do is comment participate in the discussion so everybody who's been participating so far is eligible but um, we only ask that you tag at least one person who <clears throat> you think will also enjoy these book recommendation sessions uh, because we're still in our early ages there's only episode two and we would really love to get the uh, word out and have more people uh, watch this we will uh, announce the winner to the giveaway in uh, over the course of the week and uh, pass and find a way to pass on the book to you of course with lockdown it's a little difficult but uh, we still everything is waiting in the library to pass on to the winners um so oh okay tarahat says that my daughter loves your book on anna mani thanks a lot uh, tarahat anna mani is a, a scientist about whom i wrote <coughs> a short uh, picture book uh, a couple of years back uh and it's very close to my heart so it's nice to hear that your uh, daughter likes it um i will move on i think we just have a few minutes left so uh quickly move on to the last book and this the last book is also the one that we are giving away this week this month so if you like how it looks then make sure that you're eligible to win it uh so the book is very um relevant to the time that we are in today it's called the germ academy it's by ria malhotra muktiar and shahina shahina uh, zaveri so it's the perfect book really for um those of you who have been looking for ways to talk about what is happening in our world today to our you know young children and uh, a way to speak about the pandemic and the and a bit of the science of the pandemic without really getting into the sense of gloom uh, because most of the time what kids might be hearing on tv and hearing from conversations around them is really uh, can be quite uh, depressing and uh, so this book so man manages i think in a very interesting way to <coughs> talk about uh you know they really storyify this whole they make it like a battle between good and evil the viruses um versus uh the things which are the best bet against these viruses uh and it's so it's a pretty new book post covid book in fact the protagonist is called uh kovi uh, i suspect that it's named after the famous coronavirus and um it's called yeah so it's called germ academy 
and it's an action packed picture book that um you know it's uh, there's a the bad guy is called uh, is called kobe and he's the star and known to be the baddest of the baddies and then there are these the team of um, good people called not people exactly but you should read it to understand it but they call the soap squad and uh, they are they might be our only hope against kobe so there are some uh, important lessons to be learned but it's also super funny uh, there are rhymes and uh, lots of pictures so even though it's a picture book it's still interesting i think um, people in um, uh, i mean all of your kids who are up, definitely up to you know 10 years of age it's still interesting because even though the words are few there are a lot of elements on each uh, page and there's a lot of humor also so if you really look at the pictures you get a lot of the jokes uh, and i thought that um, before i end i will just read one some small snippet of the story also um, so i don't want to reveal too much because uh, i would love for you to read it yourself but uh, this is just when kobe our um, super villain is about to uh, infect somebody so let Us. Yeah. <clears throat> Later that night when the moon ruled the sky and the lights had all gone to bed Kobe the germ he sneakily crept up right beside his next victim's head but hidden in the shadows little did this chap know was the sassy soap squad some perched high some crouched low handy wash from the bathroom gave a loud achu kavi froze what was that song sound coming from the loo as he slid off the bed it was all systems go mr foam was the first and with one mighty blow poof hey tough guy what's this we hear about you causing trouble for the humans don't you feel bad Why are you spreading this sickness and disease? Kobe looked around at the bottles that stood across the room. They were so shiny, smelled so clean that it made him want to puke. I'm a germ, said Kobe. It's what I do. I will never quit. Even though it harms people, that's the best bit. So that's a small uh, funny snippet from the Germ Academy. which is up for grabs for all of you those who have commented so far uh, and i'm really looking forward i mean once you get it please do also let us know what you thought of it uh, it's a light hearted take on everything that is happening and um, also has a fun to do list so it, it is pretty informative also so it's like a how to stay safe questionnaire for kids Uh, so that is um, the three books that I wanted to recommend to you uh, this month. I hope you uh, like the look of some of the books, and uh, thank you to so many of you who have commented. And I'm going to be looking at the comments in detail after this um, after the session is over, and also taking for for these notes for next time. Um, let me see if uh, there are any more questions. Yeah, Monica says, "Is it good to transfer to chapter books when the kid starts reading such books, <clears throat> or should we wait for his age?" He's a very advanced reader, and I'm not really aware, and have provided all sorts of books so far. Yeah, so Monica, in my opinion, I think that you know you should really let him be. Of course, what you can do is just be a little judicious about you know. Um, whether however much uh, advanced he is in reading it's likely that being a child he also there are some themes that might not be suited to him or might be suited for more uh, mature audience or might affect him in a, a negative way uh, so so we what what you could do is uh, you know if you uh, i can definitely share some uh, reading lists for i don't think there's anything wrong with transferring to chapter books if uh, he is reading uh, reading the books already 
because books are really not the only way um, that kids are getting information so there's no point in hiding anything from him so what matters is that we stay attuned and you know we know what they're reading we have conversations with them about what they're reading so they know uh, you know they can be open with us and ask us any tough questions that come up so uh, i don't think there's i mean i don't think uh, there's so much need to uh, protect them per se from uh, books and uh, but it, it's really i think it's it's a great thing that he's uh, reading so much so you should be um, you're lucky and uh, I, i mean i would just say if anyone you or any adult can be sort of involved in his uh, reading process and his reading growth then uh that is the best thing that you can do and you can point him to books that are interesting uh that that uh, that you know you can see what books he's liking and then if you tell me a few books that he likes then i can try and uh, find out other books that are a lot like uh those uh yeah yeah so maybe reading the book before giving to him sure it, it might be i don't know how realistic it is it might not you know everybody may not have that kind of time it may not always be possible but really the internet there is good reads which is a website where you can see a lot of reader reviews about i think even children's books so you can really see what other people are saying about the book uh in if you you know don't have the time to read it uh by yourself uh i hope that helps monica and uh, it's wonderful to hear of uh, so many different kinds of readers that are all in your family so please do share these stories next time also and um, because it's 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 it really helps us as you know content creators and uh, people uh, interacting with kids to understand what 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 are their likes and what are their dislikes so even if you do pick up any of these books uh, also let me know how much they enjoyed it or even if they didn't enjoy it that happens as well um so um yeah so i will see you at uh, next month with another set of books and i uh, wish you all the best to win this one <laughs> thank you everyone <laughs>